A shopkeeper placed an order of 100 balls in a ball manufacturing company. The company started shipping balls in packets containing equal number of balls. And the shopkeeper started receiving a packet per day. This situation can be drawn in a two-dimensional plot, where the x-axis of the plot will represent the number of packets received and the y-axis of the same plot will represent the number of balls the shopkeeper is handling. Let us say that you visited the shop on the fourth day and the eighth day. Now, I am asking you a problem that what is the change in the number of balls with the change in the number of packets? And because you are a smart guy, it is an easy job for you. You subtracted the final and the initial value of the number of balls and divided it by the difference of the final and the initial value of the number of packets according to your observation and this is called differentiation in a nutshell if you are doing the same thing for the smallest change possible in the function and the variable to make things complicated we can write it in mathematical terms here y is the number of balls the shopkeeper is handling which is the function of x and x is the number of packets the shopkeeper has received. So the rate at which the value of y is changing with x can be written as follows, where del x is the change in the value of x. For better understanding, we can try doing this for a function which is equal to x squared, for a change in the variable which is so small that it is almost equal to 0. And this is how we can do it very easily. So by this we can easily understand that even a speed is the rate of change of displacement with the change in time. So if displacement is a function of time, then the derivative of this function with time is going to be the velocity. And acceleration is also the rate of change of velocity with time. So if velocity is a function of time, then the derivative of velocity with time is going to be the acceleration. And this is how we can use this mathematical tool in physics. Thanks for watching.